Hi Abby, it is Wednesday and my video is going to be a little wacky today because I actually started writing a script for it on Monday, but I was working on the script today and I realized, yeah, I don't like this. And so now the topic I was going to talk about just didn't, didn't work out. I was going, my, <laughs> my anxiety has been bad this past couple of weeks, this past couple, this past week, and I was going to talk about it in the different stages that I realized it takes, and just like the pro the progression of it, and things like that, but I can't find the correct wording that I want to use for that, and so I just had to scrap, throw it away, but yes, so I'm going to do this one, because I still want to make time for my video. These videos really mean a lot to me. Like, I don't know, this entire idea of just finding topics to be able to talk about, it makes me happy, and getting to write about it and record it, it's just, I don't know, it's nice, and I think it's going to be useful in the long run, not just for us to be able to stay in contact with each other, but also in just, like, strengthening skills, like writing and, not for me at least, writing out, like, the scripts and processing my thoughts and researching and things like that. That is a skill that I see strengthened, as well as public speaking and getting in the hang of all that. And it also helps with my anxiety because I'm not good at public speaking. I'm not good at speaking to a camera. I get frustrated or embarrassed or it's not going as well as I thought it would and things like that. And I used to shut down when I was first starting the videos. I would just shut down and kind of go into like, I have like a panic attack because it wasn't what I imagined it to be. My thoughts weren't as organized as I wanted them. I didn't speak as well as I thought I would, but now I see the, the improvement that I've made of just enjoying it because this is, this is for us. I get to tell you about what I'm interested in, what's going on in my life and things like that. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect, so my videos don't need to be. I am going to be 18 in a couple of weeks. It's a weird progression of graduating high school, becoming an official adult, and then graduating with my associates, which will happen at the end of June. And it kind of all feels really fast, and it's just kind of like a big realization of how much my life is changing, and how much this, this up, this fall and upcoming year, how different it's going to be, and my brain doesn't know how to process it yet, it's both like exciting and nerve-wracking, and it's kind of overall, just, I just kind of want to throw up, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's weird to think that I got here. Like, I still, I still remember just like middle school me. Not even, it's not like I thought I'd die before high school, but, or, after, or before graduation, I just, I don't know, no, I just didn't really expect life to continue this far. I thought, the world would end by then, or, I don't know. I saw everyone else graduating and going to college and getting married and having kids, and even though I want that, I just never actually saw myself having that, if that makes any sense at all. And so it's almost really frightening that I am getting closer and closer to that. I am... I am no longer a high school student, and that is so weird to say. I am no longer 
a high school student, and I'm about to be an official adult. Goodness. I'm going to go to college and live by myself. I'm going to have to go to the grocery store all by myself. I am going to have to get my car registered all by myself. I, I have to, I have to grow up. I didn't expect my childhood to end so fast. And I mean, of course, there are different stages of childhood. Even when you're in college, you're still like immature and all that. But it's, it's a big transition. Because, I mean, when the way we are raised is this almost, it's, it's like this repeated routine of school and friends and living in the same town and living with your family and all of that. I have to grow up. I have to step out of that. I have to do something entirely different. I have to move away from everybody I know and love. To do something entirely different. I will be an adult, like, I have to do taxes, <laughs> so many different things, and I'm almost kind of pushing against it because I'm not ready for such change, but I also know that I don't want to go back to the old routine, and so it's a kind of an awkward position to be in because I don't want to move forward, but I don't want to move backwards. And I just kind of, I want to live in all of the memories. I was scrolling through my phone and just all the happy memories that I have there of us hanging out in hooks, um, walking around your neighborhood, walking through the little creek in your neighbor oh goodness there's just so many different memories that i treasure and i feel like i'm moving away from them <sighs> but i know it'll all be okay i know it'll be all smooth and <sighs> i'll enjoy it and all my awkward thumbs up i'll enjoy it but it's nerve-wracking it's nerve-wracking, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. I am a mess. It is not perfect. It is simply me updating my life, but here is the raw, unscripted nonsense of my video with random pauses and me staring off into space. But yeah, that is about it. My random thought processes. I love you, and I hope you have a fun time at your cousin's graduation.